morning guys here from Port Parton that actually sounds French but it's not French I am still here in the Philippines at the island of Palawan um, on my way down to Puerto Princesa but uh, staying here for a couple of days to enjoy this remote village and this is a typical remote area here and there's some uh, drums going on over there but yeah I actually sound more happy than I really am got some uh, severe food poisoning three days ago my last evening in, in El Nido I ate a uh, Thai curry and probably the water there was contaminated hello <laughs> yeah and um, for almost two days I switched between bed and the bathroom <laughs> all the time but finally everything is out systems are, are cleared and I'm uh, starting to eat building up the system again step by step eating rice bananas and bread only and yeah hopefully I can stabilize this very soon um, this is actually my third day here in Port Parton and it was a hell of a ride that day. Um, we left at 1 p.m. in El Nido and we arrived here at 4, I think it was even 5.30 by a van. Uh, shaky and bumpy ride, uh, a lot of bands there, not an easy one. Um, but there is no other option, you can go by bus, which probably is even worse. Anyways, made my way, I'm here. And this is actually the first time I'm exploring this village here by daylight. So let's see what we can explore here. This is, um, I mean, really, really small. I don't know how many, uh, how, how uh, many people are living here, how big is the population. But I think it doesn't even reach to one or two thousand. Um, only tiny. Sarasara stores where you can buy your essentials at a proper supermarket. By the way, 7 Eleven, it does not exist um, on the island of Palawan, as far as I know. They are planning to open one, but not yet. And this place here is uh, yeah, famous for its tranquility, uh, its relaxing ambience and the beach that is just 200 meters probably over there white sand clear water hopefully so let's check this out guys and the other ones they don't let me sleep right at night you little buggers bug, bug, bug. man they have so many uh, <clears throat> roosters here in all over the Philippines. Um, not only in the rural areas, but also in the cities. <laughs> you can hear it, right? And as far as I know, they uh, keep them as a cage, uh, in a cage, make them more aggressive, and then they uh, use them for cockfighting that's a thing because you can't eat the meat apparently that's what I've been told <laughs> I don't know if that is that is true I mean look at that this place looks so wild right next to the beach surrounded by all those green uh, trees and palm trees just amazing Quiet village life here in the year of 2023. Hey, doggy! <laughs> and look at that cool construction over there. That uh, kind of a hut. <laughs> All right. 
right. We're getting closer, guys. There is a bridge. I don't know where this leads here. Ah, yeah, I can see the beach already. That is like a mangrove over here. Children playing. A lot of rundown fisher boats. I don't know if they're even run now. Run down, probably they just gonna restore them and reuse them. Well, let's follow this little pathway here. Let's see if it connects with the beach down there somewhere. The tide is. Uh, quite low right at the moment. Maybe we can just walk over over here. There's a uh, open air massage saloon. Actually it looks more uh, <laughs> developed in a better in better conditions in a better shape than uh, where I have been back at, uh, I think it was Nakpan Beach in the north of El Nido. Oh yeah. Didn't bring my, uh, my flip-flops. I think I have to go the, to the other direction over there. This is not uh, really walkable here. Because the uh, sea is coming in here. And all those uh, palm trees, the bay here, reminds me uh, a little bit of Siargao down in the southeast of this beautiful country here. But of course this here is more, uh, more chill, smaller, less crowded. And by the way, yeah, there, there is tourists. There is also uh, guest houses, some uh, small resorts and uh, pensions, but of course not like uh, not the mass tourism you experience in, uh, in El Nido. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to, to make my way out of here. Um, yeah, most of the guest houses, they are run by, by families. They are small, just a couple of rooms. They are even much cheaper than up there in El Nido. Right now, for example, I am paying uh, only, I think it's eight or 900 pesos. That is around 14 euros per night, but without the AC. Actually, the AC is not really necessary because, uh, yeah, it cools down quite a lot uh, after the after midnight so it's bearable it's, it's not really hot but uh, of course now I'm sweating a lot of humidity here probably around 29 to uh, 30 degrees and that's why and look at all those small chickens and the dog sleeping having their siesta let's see if I can get out here again Guy repairing his boat. Hi, sir. Repainting. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, I'm just documenting my documenting my my travels, my experiences. <laughs> nice to meet you. It looks uh, it looks cool. Good job, sir. Thank you. <laughs> you have got the swings here. That's pretty cool. And there we go, coconut oil for sale, first time I'm seeing a sign like that in Sri Lanka, they are selling coconut oil around every corner and 
yeah, this is pretty inviting for uh, taking a stroll over the sand, even though I've got no flip flops right now. And there's another swinging badge. How cool is that? Oh man, amazing. <laughs> Let's try that out. Oh, it feels so good here with the breeze of the ocean, the air coming in. Good vibes, good feelings here in the Philippines. But let's move on, guys. <laughs> let's see what else we can discover here. What else I can show you? There is a uh, beach restaurant, cafe and restaurant, it says. Looks quite fancy. But I'm not looking for, <coughs> for uh, food or drinks. As I'm uh, still got a weak stomach, so I have to be careful. <coughs> there they are building so-called uh, pearls they are selling later to the tourists and look at that guys those were probably hit by the uh, high tide, or no, they have been they have been burned. That was a fire, probably. Oh man, that looks creepy, and the dog as well. <laughs> I better get out of here. <coughs> Hi there. Move on. Another massage saloon. Full body massage, time massage. And I wonder what this here is. What kind of animal is hiding down there? Down under. <laughs> And this one over there, <clears throat> that guest house, it looks also so cool. Right next to the sea. Ah, actually, these are uh, little uh, cottage houses or proper houses. Got the, the garden in front, some tables and seats. Island tour for 1500. But to be honest, I have done already three island tours. I'm not uh, looking forward to do another one right now. I'm <laughs> pretty happy so far uh, with, the, with the islands and the surroundings I have seen. The, the bamboo. Yeah, it looks like uh, this is coming up again very soon after the pandemic. The high season is about to start very soon as well, just in a couple of weeks. Today is uh, January 14th, by the way.
and it's good to see that they are getting along. Another uh, massage place, just to give you an idea about the cost. 500, 600 for the Thai massage. That is around uh, 11 dollars or 11 euros, more or less. Hi there! I'm not looking forward to get a massage. Um, most probably accidents can happen in my stomach issues. Yeah, you get the fresh cocoa. Hello, how are you? <laughs> and as you have seen, just a uh, couple of tourists so far. There is two over there, one over there, another one. Probably they are <laughs> still sleeping or somewhere else. And this also looks quite fancy. All right. And the palm tree bending towards the ocean. Let's see how long this is gonna last. More. <laughs> And this goes on and on for a couple of hundred meters, hundreds of meters more. Somebody approaching me. Let's see what he has got to offer. Hi dude, what's up? Thanks, I'm good. Yeah. Island hopping tour. As I mentioned before, I'm not uh, really interested in that right now. Thanks, man. And um, yeah, back there, there are some more tiny islands. Hi there, thanks. Um, one of them, by the way, is called uh, German Island. <laughs> the name originates from uh, a guy, a German guy that bought the island, that bought the island, but he had to sell it again um, because it was not clear. Uh, who was the real owner before the purchase so there were conflicts with the license and stuff so now it's uh, public again pretty funny though and there we have Elsa Speech House another wonderful looking place here in the paradise of Port Barton what are you doing? What? what are you doing? Please. It's for the boat? No. No? What is it for? You don't know? Huh? For what is it? What do you use it for? Or just playing? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Look at him, guys. Um, probably not even 10 years old, maybe 6, 7, or 8. Hammering. <laughs> Amazing. Hello. Probably uh, 
they didn't learn English at school. But most of them, they do uh, uh, speak English very well, to be honest. And what happened with this boat here? Oh man, <laughs> this was a uh, boat a couple of years ago. Are you hiding there? Yeah? You having a good nap? All right. The old steering wheel. Here it says, auto drive. Well, not anymore. <laughs> what a pity. Nobody feels responsible to take it away. <laughs> and uh, it looks like we are coming to the... We are approaching the other end of the uh, beach here. Of Port Parton. Haha, now I would need my, uh, my flippers, I mean locals they still do, do it without, let's see if I can cross here without getting wet, doesn't look like. All right, this looks interesting. Let's do it. Doggy, <laughs> don't be scared. <laughs> I made it, I made it to the other side. Let's see what else I can uh, explore here in the surroundings. Some wind is coming up. I hope you can hear me properly. Um, even though <laughs> not much is going on. Just wanted to show you the area. Oh, that looks also pretty cool here. Just wild, I love that. No blocks, no big houses, no construction going on. Just uh, those wooden style cottages or hats, however you wanna call it. Well, well. Um, I reached the end here, so I have to wake my. I have to go back again to the other side. There is not much more going on here. <clears throat> Maybe I can show you some more of the uh, proper village, just two or three st streets over there behind the sea. Um, there's some tiny food stalls, they're doing barbecues at night. There is like a uh, basketball tournament every night with loud music, nice ambience, children playing, uh, lots of yeah, food and drinks and just a good vibe like everywhere else in the Philippines. And by the way, it was supposed to rain, as you can see. It's gloomy over there, gray and gray. Um, not pouring down so far, but uh, it can happen uh, anytime soon. So let's get back over this uh, tiny river over there. <laughs> 